We have uh, somebody very important, uh, Black Rasta, in our studios with us, who has said that the, uh, the, the year of return has lost focus. Black Rasta, it's nice to have you, man. Yeah, thank you so uh, you, much. You've been doing a lot of touring on the back of your uh, the road to Timbuktu. That's right. And so I, I'm sure that in terms of African renaissance, you're right there. You get the sense that this whole year of return, we have, uh, we have approached it badly or misplaced priority. What exactly is the concern? Well, I would think that uh, it's a very beautiful initiative and uh, people should understand that this is not the first time black people have actively tried to bring home uh, returnees, the so-called re re returnees. Yeah. In fact, as early as 1811, yeah. Paul Kofi was the first black man from this part of the mm -hmm. world called mm -hmm. Ghana now, mm -hmm. who tried to ship in a lot of people. From him was uh, Charles Sam uh, Alfred. He was also from Achim. He brought people actually mm -hmm. to Achim mm -hmm. from Liberia all the way to from America, yeah. you see. And so many other people like Laura Kofi and so on and so So you think we're not acknowledging the history of what all these people exactly. did? Exactly. How did they fail? Mm. Even Marcos Gavi, all of them tried to bring people home. How did they fail? Mm. We should go through all that and let history guide us. Yeah. What yeah. I think is that it's rather a year of tourism mm. rather than a year of return. People were sent out. Now they are returning. What are they returning to? That is what I am talking about. We are looking for people to come home and reconnect with the African spirit. Yeah. If you are saying that you've made $1.9 billion uh, out of this, then you are commercializing the whole thing. You're talking about building statues. Which country has more statues than America? Where these people are supposed to be coming from? So all I am saying is that, please let the basis of the whole return home be emphasized mm -hmm. rather than trying to commercialize the whole thing or else we're going to fail. Beyond 2020, what is going to happen to the year of return? You will realize that people, and Luda Chris was here the other day. What did he say? He said he was happy to reconnect with the African spirit. Mm -hmm. He did not say he was happy to come and watch dance and singing and all that. No. So we are telling the government, please, don't misplace the priority. Live beyond the rhetorics. We want to see you let the whole diasporan people come home and reconnect with the African spirit. Education is most important. In fact, Chief Alfred Charles, Charles failed because there was no education. The Achim people said, oh, you are bringing these people home to come and take our land. We are not going to allow that. And it failed. See? So people should be made to understand that these are brothers and sisters who left us by force. Mm. They are returning home. Their status is unchanged. They are still our brothers and sisters. Mm. The fact that you listen to a different accent doesn't mean charge them differently. Yeah. Doesn't mean treat yeah. them differently. Yeah. They are yeah. brothers and sisters. But how, how do we take advantage of this boom? I mean, you call it year of tourism rather than year of return. But exactly. How do we all take advantage of this boom and play our individual roles in this? I am surprised that the Ministry of to uh, Culture is a little quiet about this. You see, tourism, yes, it's pushing it. We are going to tourism. How about the cultural aspect mm. of the thing? Don't let us look at too much. How about people much. getting to know our dance forms, exactly. our food, our, our lifestyle, our people? Yes. Mm. The Dagomba, the Ashanti, the this. Let them go through that and be able to tell them, oh, I connect with these people more. Yeah. Rather than base it in Accra where they come and watch dances and look at statues and go back. No, we want a true year of return where the people coming home are in that spiritual. That is what can keep this thing alive. The ancestral connection ancestral rather connection. than coming to watch statues and dance. That would work. Black Rasta, nice to have you passing through. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Black Rasta is a musician, is also a radio presenter. I popularly call him the taxi driver.